Okay, in this video we'll just go over auxiliary projection. So we're going to complete an auxiliary view of this drawing here on the on the screen. First thing I'll do is dimension. So you can have the measurements for you to practice. Over here is 30. We have a diameter of 100 and diameter of 70. So there's a hidden detail, there's a hole going through um, this figure, and we're going to draw that as well. And the last point that I have here is the angle of this slab. So for this drawing, you've just been given the array of the circles, and you've just been given the angle. So you don't need to know the height of this figure because if you have the angle, you draw this at 45 degrees, you will have the height. So uh, we divide the circle into 12. So to do that, you type D, DIV, enter, select the circle, 12, enter. So it's divided already. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we'll draw the plane. Now, since the angle is 30, we're going to draw a 60 degree over here. So we have our 60. Now, I'm going to project from the front view. So when we look at this figure, we're going to see the bottom of it projected over here, which is going to be in the shape of a circle. And a lot of it is going to be hidden. But we're looking at it from this side. So we're going to project from the bottom. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Um, it's important here to understand these two points. X to the bottom left, X to the bottom right. So I'll project those first. Remember that the angle we're using is 30 degrees. So I projected the one that is closest to us and the one that is farther away. So x1 here, and we then have another x to the other side. So understand that those two x's are here and here. Let me just change the color or the layer to text. Now, we're going to draw our circle because when we look at the bottom of this figure, we're going to see this bottom piece, which is in the shape or the form of a circle. Now, I'm going to have to bring this around a little more. So I'll just move it around now. And I'll just extend the lines. All right, so we'll start from here. Uh, let me use construction. So our divisions, this is the first one, projects through here and touches the base. And then we project it across. Now you just want it to cross the 30 line that we have from before. So we're going to do the left side and the right side at the same time. Project through here. And we draw it across. Then we trim. Now what we need here is the measurement from the center because this center line here, we are using this as that center line. Now, so what we need is the measurement going up here and down. So I'm just going to dimension. That one is 25. So I'll change the layer here to text, something a little brighter. And we draw up 25. We copy it down here. So just to go over that again. So we have our first point X here. X is projected upwards. First point, and then we have our second point, which is here. Then we have the other x down here, and our another point down there. So those are our x's. Now, what we need to do is we're going to draw up from here straight through. So 
So try to draw to the center. We we'll do the same thing for this one. Straight through. Try to make sure that your lines pass straight through the centers. So we check our next measurement now. So we have a 43. Let's just check it again. So we have our 43. So we have our two 43s. And remember that they came from over here and down here. So our last point, which will be the radius of the circle, the plan view. 50. So we try to find this point construction over here, straight across, and put in our 50. All right, so what we have done is we finished the right side of this figure here at the bottom. Now we'll just copy. Because there's a left side of the circle goes around to the left side as well. All right, so now we have, we can see the underside of this circle. Now we did not put in the smaller one as yet. Uh, but I'm just going to complete this spline. Make sure that it touches the edge of the line and not the points. C, enter to close it. So this here is. Right, that hole that's at the bottom. Now, from here, we are going to begin to draw the top. So I'll just draw the first line. So this first line that begins from X, remember this line comes up here. So that's our X. So we need to project this upwards. So here's our X in the, for the top slant. So remember there are several X's at the bottom. I could number them as X, one, two, three, four, five. And, but now we have these points here at the top. So, and these come from the same points on the circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'll extend this up We want to extend it till it touches. So now where it touches, that's our following point. And then we're going to project it at the 30 degrees. So the question is, where does that point stop? So it stops here. This is the height. This is where it will go. This is the height of it but it stops or it comes from these two x's so if i had numbered these as x1 you would realize that x1 and x2 are on this line here and here so i just i'm going to project those upwards to go to the next one. I'll extend that up. All right, so the reason it's not extending. So I'll just draw it up. So we're coming from here now. And our 
30 degree angle. So we need to make sure it's drawn long enough to meet the points. So remember this line comes from these two points over here. So we need to find these on the circle there on this line. So this point here and the other one over here. All right, so we can see, I'm just gonna plot the axis. All right, so we have those finished. Now we have the middle one to do. See, middle one comes all the way up here. And that comes from this edge. this edge here. Now it's important that we follow the lines. Now we're at the point where we're at these lines here that are further back. So we extend this upwards. put in the points so you can see them and we project this up now it's important to know remember this point here this line here comes from these two points point here and then this one over here so we just need to make sure that we project up from the correct area to the correct area. So this one comes up, that comes there. This one comes up, and that comes there. All right, now, so we have our second last one, which is here. So once again, look at where it comes from. This point here at the bottom, these two over here. So when we draw this up, we make sure that it comes from the two correct points, which is here. point and yes our curve is finished now when we look at it from this angle we're going to see this piece this big slanted curve so we just need to draw in our spline sites and this piece yeah nothing here is going to be hidden because the way the figure is posi positioned or shown I uh, note that I did not draw the inside circle that would make it a bit confusing I'm just going to take a look at how it will look printed and this will show us any errors
So this is our auxiliary elevation. And the thing is, this is the bottom piece. So we can see that small piece here. The length of this line is here. So when we have this second line now, that's over here and over here. So the only problems, these lines appear to be solid. So let me fix those. Oh, those lines are text lines. So all of those should be construction lines. So we have in our points, and I'm going to delete the circle from inside. So let's take another look at it. So here's our finished drawing. The only other thing you can do is label it. But we have our lines projected up, projected across. So remember we got the distances over here by putting the 25 over here, the 43 and the 50. 